will establish a Bluetooth serial connection between Raspberry Pi and Android tablet. Serial connection and serial communication has been there since 1960s uh, under various protocols like RS-232, UART, I2C, SPI, and USB. It can essentially be broken into two types, synchronous and asynchronous. In synchronous, there is a clock signal, so all devices on a synchronous serial bus share a common clock. In asynchronous, there is no external clock, which helps in reducing the number of wires and input-output pins, but it does mean we need to put some extra effort into reliably transferring and receiving data, which we do by using data bits, synchronization bits, parity bits, and baud rate. Baud rate is how fast data is sent over a serial line. Higher the baud rate, the faster your data will move, but it also increases the error. So why should you care about any of this? If in your next project, you are using a GPS module, Bluetooth, XB, or serial LCD, then this topic will be of interest to you. Bluetooth profile on Raspberry Pi. So the first command is sudo nano at c systemd system dbus dash org dash blues dot service. Let's edit this file. Uh, and then we need to add a dash c to make sure that the Bluetooth daemon is in the compatibility board. And then we add the SPP profile. And then we save and reboot the Pi. In my Raspberry Pi have already taken care of the steps, but I'll still go ahead and show you the file, how it looks like after the change was done. So I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi through a VNC, and this is the terminal on Raspberry Pi. So as I open this file, you'll see these two lines, exec start Bluetooth. So, so I added dash C to make sure that Bluetooth HD daemon runs in a compatibility mode, and then I added the SV profile to it. Right now, I have Bluetooth turned off on both my Raspberry Pi, which you can see here on the left side, and also on my Android device, which you see here. So I'll go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth on my Raspberry Pi, and I'll also turn on the Bluetooth on my so right now you can see uh, Raspberry Pi shows up as an option on my Android device. So I'm going to go ahead and pair it. And let's take a look. So it looks like the Raspberry Pi is connected over Bluetooth to the Android device. So now I'll go back and I've downloaded an app which is serial Bluetooth and uh, it's an interesting app so as you can see here, it shows it works with the Bluetooth LE and also Bluetooth 2.0 st standard SPP profile like HCO5, HCO6, and so on. It's an important information. So now let's look at what happens. So what do we see in devices? So Bluetooth is disabled. Bluetooth LE. There's nothing in here. So we'll go back to our settings. So Raspberry Pi is connected. Now let's go back. Okay, so Raspberry Pi shows up here, once we turn on the Bluetooth back on the Android device, so I'll go ahead and connect to it. So you can see it's trying to connect and then the connection is failing. So what's going on here? So way to 
bring that up is basically we need to use the command uh, sudo arabcom watch hc10. So if I run hci config, it shows the device number, which is hci0. So now I'll go ahead. So um, this is the name of the Bluetooth device installed in this. So let's cre create a serial device on Pi by using sudo rfcom watch hci0. So waiting for connection. Now let's try to connect back from the Android device. So it shows devices. It's connecting. Yep, yeah, there you go. It's connected. And you see the change that's happening here. So we have established a serial connection between the Android and the Raspberry Pi. So now, uh, mm -hmm. this is the latest version of uh, Raspberry Pi. So if you want to check the version, you can do cat etc OS releases. So you can see this is version ID 9 you know, of Raspbian. And you can also see the Python 3 dash version. So it's 3.5.3. .3. Interestingly, if you go here and look at uh, preferences, add remove software, and then you look for Pi serial, which is a serial interface. So it will just look for the packages already installed on this Raspberry Pi. And uh, you see the file serial is uh, installed. It was part of the operating system. So I didn't have to install it separately. So next up is let's open up a Pi serial. Let's start Python 3. And then we import serial. Now let's look at uh, the various, so we can use this command python mserial.tools.list underscore ports to see what all ports python dash m serial dot tools start list underscore ports so this is the new port which was created by dev rfcom0 which was created once we start said uh, sudo rfcom watch hci0 so now let's go back to the tab where we have the python we imported serial now we say serial declare a variable serial dot serial and then we look at the tab rfcom zero then we say serial is open it's true so now let's kind of focus uh, please pay attention to this uh, Android terminal over here. So I'll be writing a few things like, let's say, I'm gonna say, hello Android. So going back to sir dot write, and then we do a B, hello Android. So it says the 13 characters and hello Android gets printed here. So let's try again, but this time we'll add backslash R and backslash N so that create a new line. Hello Android 2 backslash R plus N. So it gets on the same line, but we know it is a new line. But the next 
message that I sent to the Android device should be in a new line. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna send a hex message from Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna write sir dot write sir dot write b backslash x48 backslash x65 backslash x 6c backslash x 6c backslash x 6f and you see that's the hex for hello and hello gets printed here now let's try a few things um, let's print a few things from the android device let's say hello raspberry Pi. and then on the Android side we did that and now we do serial dot read line okay hello Raspberry Pi now let's try hello Raspberry Pi test one two three we send that to a read line here Hello Raspberry Pi test one, two, three. So that ends the very basic test of connecting uh, Raspberry Pi to an Android tablet using SPP profile on Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.